Hashtag my hectic heart. As you can see, guys, we are in the aftermath of Valentine's Day. And we're talking about, hey, what if you didn't get that Valentine, hey. that Valentine, that oh, crush? That Valaza. You went out, that hey. rose, that chocolate, whatever it if is that you were hoping If he has vanilla nam and you didn't have the Valentine's. Yes, Lord, I don't even know what Valentine's is. I don't know what people do You've never Valentine's celebrated Because I've never celebrated. I've never had a Valentine. So... Guys, we want you to tell us your story on Facebook and Twitter. Today, we are joined by our expert Warren in the building. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for being here. And we've got Hedefeld High with us as well. Thank you so much guys for coming through. Now I want to know how many of you guys, including you Warren, how many of you guys celebrated Valentine's Day this past Sunday? Hands? Can I see hands? Okay, and Paul, you celebrated it. Tell us what you did. I celebrated with my parents and my family because I don't think Valentine's Day is about lovers. It's about people who appreciate you and love you as well. Yes! Okay, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. We feel Steps. that. Okay, cool. Um, now, Spokazi, you look like you had a Valentine's Day. What happened? Did you have a Valentine's secret admirer? Yes, I had a, a Valentine's secret admirer. Someone who gave me a chocolate for Valentine's. Hey! What kind of chocolate? <laughs> I tell you, whole nuts. Whole nuts. You whole nuts. Yeah. Yo, how many whole nuts? <laughs> not your fruit and nuts. <laughs> not, a, not your top take. How many whole nuts? There we yes. go. Now, did you know the person? Yeah, yes, I know the person, but I didn't expect that from him. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, now, I, I think I'm going to ask the ladies. Do you guys feel as if it's a must that you receive a Valentine's Day gift? Or how many of you expected to receive a Valentine's Day gift? I would say if you are dating, you would expect a Valentine's gift. But if you are not dating, maybe from your mom, you would expect it. But if you don't get it, hey. Okay, so Tandy, were you in a situation where you were expecting a Valentine's gift yes. and you didn't receive it? What happened? I felt lonely, um, disappointed actually, because I mm. was expecting it and rejected. No one, like, there was no one who was like, Admiring me and I'm special to them. Mm -hmm. So, so Tandy, way. Okay. Um, did you expect it from someone specific or just in general? Were you just expecting from the universe to just uh, drop out of the sky, or were you expecting from a special somebody? Special. 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 Oh, so. Oh, I mean, I mean. <laughs> I would also be disappointed. I mean, why wouldn't you be disappointed if the, there was a special somebody in your life and you were expecting a, 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 a kind Valentine. of Valentine's Day gift? You know, um, it's it's some form of rejection, is it not? Yes, it is. If 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 you celebrate Valentine's Day and then you're in a relationship with someone, I, I think it's a. You can expect it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I mean, she says she felt a little bit, you know, not loved, rejected, not special. Is it okay to have these feelings around the holiday of Valentine's Day? Well, it depends on the relationship and the, the dynamic that they have. Mm -hmm. But um, if you base your value, your own sense of self-esteem on whether you get a, this, Valentine's, a gift. Valentine's gift, yeah, you know, it's one day out of the year. How is the person treating you throughout the rest of the year? Mm. You've you know? got to balance it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go to the guys right now. Um, we've got Elazar, we've got um, Nation. Nation. Mm -hmm. Guys, are you ever under pressure to give Valentine's gifts? I do think it's, um, you are under pressure because you have to approach somebody and what if that person rejects you and then you just feel rejected and your confidence drops, everything just drops. Okay, Nation? what about you, Nation? Uh, um, like, you'll be nervous. Like, yeah. really nervous because you like approaching the person. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nation sounds like he has experience. <laughs> Why do you sound like you have experience? Tell us, tell us the story, tell us the dynamics. What happened when this, you know, were you rejected by somebody? Not really. No. Not really. Elsa? No. Never. You, you know what I think, Samora? There's two kind of sides to the coin, right, mm. here. There's the, I didn't receive a gift, and there's, what if I do get rejected? And I feel as yes. if maybe some of the guys have gone out there and they have been like, will you be my Valentine? Maybe one date, maybe a longer period of dating and that never happened for them. How do you deal with that kind of situation and just be like, yo buddy, get it's up fine, again, right? keep on trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is that the only time guys ask girls out on a date? I feel like the world has made it easier. The world has made it <clears throat> like this is the one yes, time in the it, year yes. that it's acceptable I, to ask. I feel like there are a lot to of... Step out your comfort zone. Yeah. To step out your comfort zone. To step... So you think it's, people should be doing it on Valentine's Day? I'm not no, saying no. they should be. I'm saying We're if saying you that find yourself of... in that, that yes. time, you know, that, that space and you feel comfortable to do it. I mean, there time. are a lot of people that actually wait for Valentine's Day to ask someone out because it's more socially acceptable to do that. It's a lot... I feel yeah. like people find it a lot easier right, right. to it ask. might be easier. Yes. Okay. So, but 
It depends on the person. So let's say there's a guy and he's 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 working his way up to this 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 big date. Or he's mm. working his way up to asking someone, does she know? That's yeah. the thing. You know, that, has he made that clear? Um, and then, if the expectation in him is that he's building up to asking her out, she might not be at the, at the same place. Mm. Yes. She might not be ready to be in a relationship. So it, if he sets himself up for this expectation, he's setting himself up really for, for disappointment and for yes. failure. So it puts a lot of pressure to, to, on, on each individual to think about it like that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you keep in, in, in your own awareness that you're in this place, I'm ready to ask someone out, but you're the not ready. Person, exactly. Then I, I gotta, you, you're a whole other human being. Yeah. I've got to take into account into this little system we're going to yeah. create. <laughs> Somebody could be emotionally unavailable because of things happening in their family. Um, they could be involved in another relationship. There's so many things well, that, that could be, be happening. Yeah. So I, I'm going to ask you just to round up this session. How do you kind of... Just treat yourself well and love yourself despite all of these things that could be happening. Valentine's Day in the world, popular things on social media. Um, you know, all of this this thing that's surrounding the specific time. Mm. Okay, so the idea behind Valentine's Day maybe is that you like someone and they like you back and mm -hmm. that feeling of being liked or loved is what we all really crave. So if you can remember that, you know, loving yourself first is what leads to healthy relationships, yes. then... Mm not putting our only love that we get on the relationship yes. Yes. and looking at lo looking for it within ourselves first and then just keeping that in perspective then you know if it's not you it's maybe the next person yeah. or it's mm. the next person and you will find that's easier that way. Sure. You said it very well, Warren. Your first love is you. Your first love is yourself. Yes. We're going to be talking about be. this a little bit more later on, guys. Continue telling us your stories. Hashtag my hectic heart. Hectic.